You want to start by applying a primer all over the eyelid. This will give the eyeshadow something to hold on to and also blend better for you. This will also create a blank canvas across the lid, disguising any discoloration you might have. Taking your blending brush, apply a base color all over the eyelid. This can be the same color or slightly lighter than your skin tone. Make sure there's no creases before you apply the shadow, otherwise you'll set the creases. This will give the rest of our eyeshadow something to blend with, so we'll get a much better finish. I like to start off with my mid-tone. This is always blended a little bit higher, which we talked about last week. Pick up a little bit of product on the tip of the brush. Keeping the eyes open, I'm going to work this on the outer edge of my eye, doing little backwards and forward motions. Then I start to do little swirling motions, blending it inwards, and then finally sweeping it over and back. So this sweeping over and back motion is just to spread out the product. This little swirling or kind of pushing back and forth motion is to get the product on the actual eyelid. It'll give you the highest concentration in this area. And then that sweeping is just all about spreading out the product. And we're still applying the same amount of pressure the whole time, but we are holding it right in the center part of the brush, which we talked about last week. So whether you do a little wiggle or you do back and forth and then sweep, it's totally up to yourself and where you want the product to be. Using the same brush, but a slightly darker shade, we're gonna blend this a little bit lower, deeper in the crease, and then still have that mid-tone that we've already applied a little bit higher. Holding the brush down a little bit further, I'm gonna start in the outer corner, applying it in exactly the same way, so wiggling back and forth, and then sweeping it across. But we're just slightly underneath where we applied the mid-tone. If you have the E26, what I want you guys to do is instead of applying it flat ways like this, turn the brush on its side and then sweep over and back, and this will disperse the two products together right in the middle and give you a better finish. I'm switching to a slightly darker contour shade and I'm gonna sweep this in exactly the same way but working it deeper into the crease. When applying onto the lid or the inner corner, a flat brush is best. So you wanna pack on any of the color by pushing down and then sweeping across, holding the brush in the center of the handle. This will give you a little bit firmer control so you can really pack on the shadow. As a finishing step, I hold the brush at the very end and then I sweep in between the lid and the crease, kind of working it slowly downwards and a little bit up. And this will just blend all the eyeshadows together. Underneath the eye, I use a mixture of a flat brush and a blending brush. And just like on the top where we have the mid-tone going higher, we had the mid-tone going lower and the contour shade right up next to the lashes. Finish with mascara and your favorite eyelashes if you want to. And that is how to blend eyeshadow. A little bit further up. So right by this silver mark here, place your fingers right on the edge and this will apply a 